Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Okay, this performance is from 2012, which means it's with Annette Olsen. So we'll see how she does with the track. I know some of you guys don't love Annette, uh, but I think she's done some really great performances, and I do like her. So I always give her a push, like I hope this one's going to be one that I really like. Uh, She's not my favorite singer of Nightwish either. But she she did some good stuff, I think. So and I and I like the legacy of a band. So for me, it's a okay to like all the stages, and I personally I do. So anyway, on this one, this is Come Cover Me Again, and uh, it is with her. So let's jump into it together. 2012 in Montreux. Let's see what we got. Let's do this. It's time for a little older song. I hope you recognize this. Uh, the weird face is because the guitar sounds totally different here than the rest of the tracks, the way it's tuned. Alright, so Troy coming in this late in the song I think is new too. Either that or it was buried and I just didn't hear it. I'm also hearing Marco when I don't remember hearing him in the earlier tracks. So I think the arrangement is a bit different here. And that's kind of fun, obviously. I'm enjoying it as a fan. duet here he's singing as well Marco so I don't think he was singing earlier so
Thank you, Troy. Thank you so much. I think we're harsh on Annette. She did a good job, but you know, she's sandwiched in between Taria and Floor. And I know you guys have preferences on, on who you like better. A lot of Nightwish fans do. But they're both amazing. There's no question, I don't think, from any fans. And she, this poor Annette, she's stuck in between. <laughs> and so she did a good job. She's, she's just not at the Taria level. I haven't listened to Floor sing this yet, so we'll do that together next. But uh, I, I like Marco. I said incorrectly that it was a duet. I was just excited. He was actually backing vocals, I think. But I like him as a vocalist. And that gets me excited when he jumps into the mix with her. And there was a couple moments where she had really wonderful pipes go to, you know, the way she performed it. Um, but she wasn't Taria here. So uh, what I do like, and I, I think it's totally in my head, is that when Annette's on the stage, the other guys, they were trying so hard to make this happen, to make it work, to continue, you know, the legacy of Nightwish being so huge that I feel like they played a little harder, you know. And so I, I can focus on the other guys, that chunk to chunk chunk of Marco's bass, or, or anybody else in the band. Uh, the drums were so loud on this one. I always say that, but he's such a good drummer. And I, and I can hear that, and that's kind of like the luxury to my ears. And so, anyway, here we go. That was it with Annette. Let's jump into Floor and see what she does with the track. I'm, of course, excited because of Floor's marvelous ability of range and everything. I, I just assumed she's going to kick some ass, but um, we'll find out together. So, guys, thank you. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.